Hello dear ones, it's Alice. Um, I have another protection mudra technique for you. Um, you may remember a little bit earlier I gave a grounding technique which is good for um, it's good for making sure that your own energy is uh, is is to yourself and not invaded from the root chakra up and then just a uh, today I gave a uh, the root chakra um, the the technique for solidifying the root chakra energy so um, that's um, it's called mul bond it's an old yogic technique in fact it's the very simplest and easiest yogic technique and uh, and that will stop astral invasion it will stop unwanted telepathic activity it stops incursions on the aura through um, mind control and uh, it's it it's the beginning of our solidification of our pranic column energy. So we can do that all day long and, um, and be completely safe from the um, interference of the astral world. We can be here in the physical world, okay? So there's that. It's about grounding and root lock. And, um, and here is the second technique. This technique is for protecting the heart chakra if through if there's a telepathic attack where where a person uses psychic energy to try and stop the heart and and uh, there is unfortunately there are some unscrupulous psychic individuals in the world today and even in ancient times there were in India um, people who didn't really practice yoga except to gain psychic powers if you know what I mean or cities as they're called and I forget the name of these people uh, they're well known in India and in recent times because of the Indian philosophy being brought into to, um, to the Western world there are people who combined the materialistic um, ideology the idea that that getting things for themselves is the most important thing with the power of the Indian uh, psychic cities and so um, so there are things that we have to do to protect ourselves. Of course, the main thing is to do plenty of yoga and uh, to, to build up our, our pranic energy and build up our, our force field, our electromagnetic field. And I don't know anything better for this purpose than, than kundalini yoga because it's very fast. It works very well. I mean, the, the only caveat about it is that you have to, you have to take it kind of easy because it's so thorough and so cleansing and so protective that it, a little bit is quite a lot. So find an easygoing kundalini yoga center and, and work with that. That's what I say, or else buy a book, you know. So, so now I'm going to give you the technique for protecting your heart from, from psychic attack, okay? Your heart energy from psychic attack. I'm, I thought I'd mention it because I had such a psychic attack last night and I've been getting them off and on for years now and I just received from the divine I just received this mudra and this um, this um, visualization for protection it worked great last night so this is for you for I hope it can be useful to you to make you feel safe and secure in the world because we all know that the divine is right here with us every minute, taking care of us and allow, giving us all that we need to protect ourselves. So, here you go. All right, so you're feeling uh, an incoming energy that is like full of hate or harm, or har desire to harm your heart, okay? So what you do is you place your hands like this, see? It's like a shield. The fingers are together. There's no hole like this nothing like that. The fingers are together and pointed outward. The palms are pointed outward at heart level. I hope you can see it all right. Let's see. Here. So the hands are, the fingers are together. The hands are together. Palms are out. Uh, I'd say about a foot out from your heart, your physical the, uh, chest, and at the level of your heart. Okay. And, and there you're building a force field like a circle. You know, where your arms are, it's like a circle pointing outward. 
and you're feeling the inner incoming energy on your palms all right and so the thing to do is imagine you know Saint Germain in the violet flame a very protective force imagine the violet flame of Saint Germain coming down all around you and concentrating in your palms and this violet flame combines with the energy that's incoming and harmful and hateful okay it combines with it and transmutes it to love and you are sending with your mind and with your visualization the energy that came to you with an intent to kill you are sending it outward to the one who sent it to you transmuted to love and joy okay like a it's like a boomerang effect now the person that sends the desire to kill that person may receive the innocent incoming energy as an attack that's no concern of yours okay your heart is full of love and joy your hands are full of the violet flame of Saint Germain and your intention is the highest okay well so that's my tip for the day and in the meantime all day long you can be feeling your heart feeling the inhale and the exhale feel the energy of the heart expanding and contracting as you breathe and enjoying a wonderful day and the more we enjoy a wonderful day the less possible it is for anyone to frighten us with a, a terrible technique like that a, a very a technique that is very destructive to them in their karma and in their in future incarnations something that whatever whatever goal we have in, in harming other people is so much um, it's so much buried under the thing that we do to ourselves when we when we practice that technique it's it's really an act of, of ignorance it's an act of, of spiritual ignorance to think that we can we can gain something by injuring someone else there's nothing in the, in the universe that's more opposite the will of God, which is only love. So never think that anyone can, can injure you on the psychic plane. Love is the, the greatest power in the universe. It's the only power in the universe. So that's it for now. You all take care. Love you lots.